With a quiet day expected on the mountain, organisers were overwhelmed when 8,000 spectators turned out to watch the big V8 roar into action. For the fans, it was a day to cherish, a chance to talk to the big names of the sport and go autograph hunting as well. BMW driver Tony Longhurst stole the early spotlight by watering down the track with the help of the local fire brigade. Tony's little bimmer probably needs a wet track to hound the V8s. And on Tuesday, his prayers were answered. After the customary media rides around the circuit, the heavens opened and Tony Longhurst's worries were over. The conditions may have suited his car, but for British driver John Cleland, it was a nightmare come true. Cleland had just stepped off a flight from London and was thrown in at the deep end by Peter Brock. I've heard about this Bathurst weather. Um, last year's race was obviously carnage because of it. I didn't realise it happened just quite as quick. It's great. It's real baptism of fire. Um, the car's fantastic to drive around here, and the circuit's just incredible. Mark Scaife was by far the quickest of the wet weather races in the number one Commodore, while his teammate Jim Richards caused the only anxious moment when he overshot the pit straight. Fortunately, the day was not lost entirely to bad weather. Bathurst is known for producing four seasons in an hour, so it was only a matter of time before the sun came peeking through. Ford drivers Dick Johnson and John Bauer were among the first to give the dry track a try, responding with the next best times to scape. But Tuesday's trials gave no conclusive pointer as to who will win at Bathurst on Sunday, October 3. It's nice to be back here again. I enjoy the circuit a lot. Uh, this year's a little different because I'm in a, in a factory car, so obviously we're in with a very good chance of winning. And I've got a year's experience up my sleeve, so, you know, hopefully we're going to have a good result. Well, it was fantastic. The car felt really good for the first time it's been here, and uh, although we weren't quite as quick as uh, Scafie's Commodore, I tell you, in October we will be. Well, that's the first plug for Holden, I suppose. The, uh, the uh, press day is always a good time to, uh, you know, get a bit of a look at what the cars are like, and it looks like the Holdens will be in with a big chance in October. Joanna Griggs reporting for Sport.